care and use of your pedal harp. I'm Susan Knapp Thomas and thank you for watching. Hopefully this will help you when you get your new harp to know some things about how to care for it and how to use it and that will make getting a pedal harp a whole lot easier. We're going to start with the parts of the harp. Harp stature and balance. This is the column. This curvy part at the top is the neck. Down here is the base of the harp to which the column is attached. This is the soundboard. And this, in the back, is what we call the top block. Harp stature. The harp stands upright on the base. The angled part of the harp is built to naturally lean over your right shoulder. The harp will move and fall easily in this direction. The column part of the harp is connected to the base. The harp will not easily lean in the direction of the column. If the harp falling is a concern, place an, the angled part near a corner for protection and as support. Cover. When you get your harp, take the cover off by unzipping it or separating the Velcro from the bottom of the column and remove the cover over the neck. The cover need not remain over the harp unless you'll be leaving it unplayed for a long period of time. An uncovered harp is easier to play in practice. Just don't forget to dust. Pedals. When you receive your harp, the pedals, which are hinged, will be turned up against the body of the harp. Using your hand, take the rubber part at the top of each pedal and bend them down so that the pedals are sticking out. The pedals should all be in the top of the three notches. The pedals have three positions, flat, natural, and sharp. The top notch is flat, the middle notch is natural, and the bottom notch is sharp. There is one pedal for each note of the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and changing a pedal will change the same note in every octave. The order of pedals from left to right is D, C, B, and on the right side, E, F, G, and A. A good way to remember the order of pedals is, did Columbus buy enough food going to America? If you take the first letter of each of those words, you'll have the order of the pedals from left to right. Pedal storage. When not playing the harp, all the pedals should be left in the top notch in the flat position. They don't need to be turned up again unless you're traveling or moving the harp. This means that the discs connected to the top of the strings are disengaged and not touching the string. This is the healthiest way to leave the harp when not playing. Harp pedal tuning. The harp is tuned in C flat, which means that when all the pedals are in the flat or top notch, the harp is in the key of C flat, seven flats. The harp should always be tuned in flat with all pedals in the flat position. Tuning. The tension of the harp strings puts 1,600 pounds of pressure on the wooden frame of the harp. Because wood expands and contracts with barometric changes, it must be tuned regularly. It's great to get into the habit of starting every practice session with tuning. The more you tune, the more in tune your harp will stay. The harp comes with a tuning key that looks like a T, which is fitted into the tuning pin at the back of the harp at the top of the neck. The string is wound clockwise for up, your thumb and wrist move away from you, and counterclockwise to bring the pitch down. You don't need to turn the tuning key very much at all to make changes. Turn the key very little at first until you can gauge the amount needed to adjust the pitch. 
There are three ways you can tune. The first way is with an electronic tuner. Electronic tuners measure the number of vibrations per second required for each note. For A over middle C, the number of vibrations per second is 440. Your electronic tuner should be calibrated to A440. There is a calibration button on your tuner that will allow you to do this. An electronic tuner can be purchased through a harp accessory store, Amazon, or a favorite music dealer. There are also several apps you can download on your phone, but make sure to have a separate electronic tuner and use your phone app for backup. When tuning with an electronic tuner, pluck the string and the tuner will indicate whether the pitch is flat or sharp, hence the direction you need to tune or turn the tuning pin with the tuning key. Remember that when the pedals are up, the notes are flat, so your tuner should register C flat, D flat, E flat, F flat or E natural, G flat or F sharp, A flat or G sharp, and B flat or A sharp. Some tuners don't register a flat note symbol, so the enharmonic substitutions dictated above may be indicated by the tuner instead. The second way you can tune is by ear. If you have a keyboard which can give you an A flat over middle C pitch, and you have a good ear that recognizes when things are in good tune, you can tune by ear, starting with A flat over middle C and tuning by octaves or fifths up and down. The third way to tune would be to a keyboard or piano. You can match the pitches of your harp strings to piano keys if your piano is in good tune and you have a good ear that recognizes pitch match. Harp storage and placement. Be sure to store your harp away from a window that provides direct sunlight, away from heat sources, out of the line of family or pet traffic, and in a separate quiet place that will allow for focused practice and playing. Humidification. In the winter months, humidification is important and can prevent the varnish or the wooden frame of the harp from cracking. A small humidifier placed across the room or nearby is helpful. Strings. Yes, you will lose strings. They just break on a harp when the wood expands and contracts and it's not your fault, unless you turn the tuning pin too much. How to count your strings for ordering. String identification goes by octave, beginning with E and going down to F. The first two strings on the harp are 001 and 01. They are at the very top and they are normally G and F. The third string at the top of the harp is the first octave E from where you start counting. Once you get down to the first octave F, the next E is second octave E, and so on. Types of strings. Nylon strings are made of synthetic nylon, and the harp is strung with nylon strings from the second octave F all the way up to the top. From the third octave E down to the bass strings, the harp is strung with gut. This is a natural fiber that stretches easily. Wires are strung on this harp from the fifth octave G all the way down to the bottom. Strings can be purchased from regular harp dealers across the country if you happen to choose a favorite vendor. These are the basics about care and use of your pedal harp. While it may seem like a steep learning curve at first, it's really not too difficult and you should be able to to learn it all quite easily. Thanks for watching.